Yesterday I said that I would give Suella Braverman seven weeks, because that's the time it took for her to resign first time round. I think I probably give her seven days at the moment. There are calls in the Conservative Party itself for her resignation. There are calls uh, from right at the top. The man who was the, uh, the party chairman, the previous party chairman, Jake Berry, has said there are questions that need answering. Caroline Noakes has talked about big questions over the reappointment of Suella Braverman. Uh, Nadim Zahawi has gone, has done the round of uh, television interviews, uh, and, and instead of in, instead of talking about Rishi Sunak, all attention is going on this woman who's been reappointed for what reason? For what reason is she there? except to entertain her mad dreams of vicious, of, of viciousness, of malice. <clears throat> I don't understand. <clears throat> I don't understand why we've got to this point. She is attracting all the attention. We should be celebrating this vision of the future. If that's what Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives believe in. Instead, we are focusing on this person who shouldn't be in office. She's already resigned. And, you know, um, it's not just one lapse, it's two at least, maybe more. She's only been, um, be, 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 been fingered for two lapses. She was caught doing something inappropriate. She was caught sending sensitive material from one place to another, uh, disseminating it, sending it to... Um, people outside the cabinet to, we, we, we gather, her mentor, who is not a cabinet minister, and her mentor, try, trying to send to her mentor's wife. Why? I mean, what's going on here? This is somebody who is the Home Secretary. She is in charge of counter-terrorism. She is in charge. She is the person who makes a final decision about who uh, in, in, in extreme cases about who can be allowed out of prison. She's dealing with sensitive information. We don't expect her to make a mistake when it comes to those issues. Therefore, she shouldn't be allowed to make a mistake when it comes to her own personal issues. There is a standard that needs to be set and expected. I would say that standard fell, that standard was destroyed, when Pretty Patel's bullying was ignored. Do I say alleged bullying? I don't know. Um, I think the evidence was produced that she was a bully. And it was ignored by Boris Johnson. The evidence has been produced that she is not, is not safe with sensitive material. The evidence has been produced and yet she has been reappointed as Home Secretary. I am disappointed, disappointed in Rishi Sunak for this action. I'm disappointed in our government. I'm disappointed in the way things are working, that she can be reappointed. Yes, all right, it's a minor indiscretion from the part, on the part of the Prime Minister, perhaps, and maybe it will be overturned quickly. Maybe we will be able to overlook this and get on with facing the next, um, uh, the next few months. Maybe Rishi can actually get on with the work he's undertaken, but he cannot while this person is in office. She needs replacing. She needs replacing fast. And if he's beholden to her in some way, he's done that job. He's, 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 he's dotted the I. He's crossed the T. Now get her out.